Two managers have been sacked and could Ange Postoglu replace either one of them. We're going to kick off with Brendan Rodgers, right? Because Brendan Rodgers has been sacked and of course Brendan Rodgers has the Celtic connection. I was going to, we were going to make a separate fit, well, but we're going to make a fit on this regardless, right? But Chelsea have also sacked Graham Potter and it's weird. Two managers within two hours have been sacked. Has that ever happened before? Like normally, I mean, I'm going to assume maybe the best or closest you've got to that is like the next day but it seems very weird that literally two have been sacked within uh, two hours but Brendan Rodgers Leicester City sacked manager after four years in charge um, so it turns out the grass isn't always greener we saw Gerard get sacked by Villa and then we've saw Rodgers get sacked by Leicester and if we're being honest Brendan Rodgers has done a good job at Leicester City in my personal opinion like he helps the, uh, like steady the ship after like they won the league I know it was a few years after they won the league but he made them challenge for Europe and got them into Europe won the FA Cup of course but there was a good few times it seemed like he bottled um, Champions League football with them but again I mean I guess when you're going up against the other like top six in the league it will always be uh, pretty hard but he was appointed February 2019 so he did over four years but would he consider what he's done a success um, compared to if he stayed at Celtic, well, a lot of people obviously under the impression that Brendan Rodgers stayed Celtic probably would have did Ted in a row. The jury's still in that one for me. I think Stevie Gerrard that season was very special, and yes, Celtic did implode, but you know they could have imploded under Brendan Rodgers. At the same time, you know it could have happened. But as for Brendan Rodgers, he won an FA Cup. Um, it was Leicester's first FA Cup, which was a good victory against Chelsea in the final. It's it's fitting that. Chelsea, the other team that we're going to mention in today's video. But could I see Ange going to Leicester? It would be very poetic if Ange replaced the guy who jobbed at Celtic four years ago and then therefore Ange's jobbed at Celtic, right? I think that would be pretty funny, but I don't think this is going to happen. I don't know who's going to get the Leicester job, but, you know, folk foot, but we'll cover all the news because let, let's tell you, see, anytime someone gets sacked for the Premier League, Ange post Oglu is... He's in with the news, and maybe the Big Macs are better down in England. Maybe they're a wee bit bigger. Well, you know, mate, me and Alfie, we went for a Big Mac. Oh, a good Aussie accent, but you know what? Fuck it, that's what that's what we're going for, so. <laughs> it is what it is, but if I had the rate hands going to Leicester, I'm giving it a one, right? I'm giving it a fucking one. It's no happening, but into Graham Potter. Chelsea are on the hunt for a new manager. I can't, what's going on out there, man? Is Ange flying past on his moped? Right, um... No wonder you can hear it squealing, man. The fucking bike screaming in agony. But yeah, Graham Potter has been sacked. Says he's departed at the club, but I'm going to assume that he's been sacked, right? So, could I see Ange going to Chelsea? Chelsea have been absolutely awful this season, regardless of who it's been, Tuchel or Potter. Personally, I still think they should have kept Tuchel. They were in a rebuilding stage and they brought in Potter. I mean, I read it Potter at Potter, but let's be real. It's all right doing it at Potter, but seeing you get to the big teams, man, you have to hit the ground running and they hit the ground with their legs. It's pretty much what happened to Graham Potter. Um, so many defeats. I mean, they're in the bottom half of the table. They've got so many players. It's just disjointedness all over for Chelsea. And Ange, could he come in, implement his football and get them firing? I think he could. I think Ange could. It'd be interesting to see what Ange could do with so much, like, you know, more talent on the books um, and also money that he could get in the summer. But if I had to rate this one, I think it's more likely than Leicester because I don't know, like, I feel like with Brendan Rodgers, he saw Leicester as, like, a way to make another impression on English football. Well, Ange hasn't done it yet. And dare I say that Ange's stock is higher than what Brendan Rodgers was when he left Celtic. Um, I mean, Celtic fans will probably agree with that because Brendan Rodgers betrayed them, but that's just what I think. Um, I think Ange is actually more highly thought of because, like, Brendan Rodgers at Liverpool, he did an all right job, but, again, he kind of bottled the league, didn't he? I know Slippy G... Steven Gerrard bottled that league, but he didn't bottle 55, and he stopped the 10, that's all that matters. But if I had the rate, Ange going to Chelsea, I'll give it a 2. So, I mean, out of 20, we've got a combined total of 3. So, realistically, Ange ain't really going anywhere, but pretty insane that two managers have been sacked. It'll be interesting to see who they would bring in. I think, um, what, what is that guy's name? Julius Nagelsmann or whatever? He gets sacked for Bayern. He'll probably, I can see him maybe getting the Chelsea job or something, but... Who knows, man? Who knows? Uh, Thomas Tuchel, of course, took the Bayern Munich job, but 
Aye, maybe Stephen Gerrard could go to Leicester or something, but only time will tell, folks. But Ange, will he go? Leave your thoughts down below. Until then, peace.